Hello ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another video and we are here with Charles and Jack. Woohoo! Hello. And we are here for GPW Beat the Best, my first GPW pay-per-view that I am booking. And yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is, we are with the guy that had the save previously. Yep. And the guy that will have the save after me. That's me. Yep. So, before we get into the, t um, the <laughs> my first pay-per-view, kind of lost for words there, it's so good, you know, I've got to address some things. First of all, uh, three out of the four pre-booked matches for the show couldn't take place. <laughs> oh, no. Because of people working elsewhere, you know. Was that I'm the main event as well? I'm pretty sure. No, the main event is the only one that stayed, luckily. Oh, okay. oh that's good. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure it's a New Japan event because if you uh, see. Yeah. It, the wait. Pay yeah, if you see here, you can see all the people. Yeah, that... that's, a new, that's a New Japan event. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So. There's a, a couple of things I want to tell you guys. First of all, you probably know I've made an alliance. Dun, dun, dun. It's called World Alliance of, uh, of Wrestling. It has Pro Wrestling Noah, All Japan Pro Wrestling, ICW, and Ring of Honor. I am definitely thinking of making a championship. So, you know, that would be good. And also, one thing I do want to show off is my go-home show for this pay-per-view. That... Nope, not teams. That was indeed the best show yet. Got a 78B. Ooh, hoo, hoo. And yeah. the main main event was the be best match yet with an ATV. It, this is going strong, yeah. Yeah. Basically, the build up to this was. Um, whoop, keeping this clicking. The GPW Heavyweight title was um, Cody Rhodes, Johnny Nitro, and Magnus in a triple threat match. Where. Um, Basically, there was a after the results from your pay, last pay per view, Charles. Yep. There was a number of contenders main event between Johnny Nitro and Magnus on the next Ascension, and Johnny Nitro actually won that after Magnus got intentionally disqualified. And then uh, the next night, uh, the next Ascension, uh, Johnny Nitro vs Cody Rhodes had their uh, GPW Heavyweight Title match which ended with a double DQ after Magnus attacked both men, and after that it was announced that um, Cody Rhodes would defend in a triple threat match. Hmm. Interesting. The Your Welcome storyline was uh, basically started by an argument backstage between Aaron Stevens and Matt Seidel, and uh, Taz decided that they can settle it at the pay-per-view, beat the best. But it's not going to happen, it will happen on the Ascension, unfortunately. But it was built up um, behind uh, Stevens thinking he's better than Seidel and attacking him at any uh, opportunity he gets. We continued the serious Eric storyline. Yeah, obviously doing particularly great. Yeah. The super lightweight title was uh, there was a fatal four way, no, a triple threat number one contenders match between uh, the most two machine guns and Ricochet. Alex Shelley won that match by pinning Ricochet. Unfortunately, Alex Shelley isn't here today. And the whole story behind the match uh, for tonight is that Zack Sabre Jr. Um, thinks that Alex Shelley ran away from him and Chris Sabin challenges Zack Sabre Jr. in the name of his partner. And the Heroes Welcome storyline continued with Matt and Nick Jackson uh, this time. It was, there was supposed to be a match, a handicap match, but that obviously not going not gonna to happen. So I just put Chris here on the squash, squash match for this pay-per-view. Yep, fair enough. So let's let's get into the show. We've got four pre-show matches. Yeah. So let's go. In our first pre-show match, in a D46, an extremely short pre-show match, Noam Dar defeated Amazing Red and TJ Perkins in 453 when Noam Dar defeated Amazing Red by Pinterest with Champagne Super Knee Bar. Considering a, a lot of them are some of our lower talent, that's Really good. Yeah, yeah. pretty decent. Um, next, 
We have a 72B minus and a pre-show bout had great wrestling and good heat. Ethan Cotter, the third, defeated PJ Black in 12-28 by pinfall with a sweet meat sizzler. Ethan, the, Ethan Cotter, the third, of course, our second franchise player. Very good. And hand. off his game and still getting a B minus. Yeah. Very good worker, indeed. No improvements. In our next match, in a C65, in the pre-show bout, we had good wrestling and decent reaction from the crowd. Frankie Kazarian and Carl Carnage in the 817 by pinfall, uh, defeated Carl Carnage in the 817 by pinfall with a wave of future. What I want to say is that I'm not burying you, Charles. Not yet. <laughs> no, not yet. I didn't pick the winners for these pre-show matches. Basically, yeah. I feel like pre-show matches don't like matter that much. Yeah, it does. It doesn't really matter. I'm, and I feel I'm facing guys that are decent, so I'm fine. Mm. Next segment, and then the final pre-show match: Kevin Kiley, um defeats OTS in uh, a C minus fifty six match in six twenty seven by pinfall with spiked DDT. I'm still better than you in ring. Mm. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. And I think we're about to start off our show with a. 68C plus. It was the show opening, a classic a vignette showing up uh, some of our top superstars. This uh, this angle got the show off to this um, strong start and got the crowd hotter. Cody Rhodes came across well. No work improvements. Next segment. Um, Aaron Stevens comes out and says that Matt Seidel is a coward. And an imbecile, but he uh, the only smart decision he's made in his whole life was is tonight not showing up because he would have gotten the beating of a lifetime from Aaron Stevens. But the, uh, Aaron Stevens still wants some in ring action, so he issues an open challenge that is accepted by Drew Galloway. That got a 66 C plus. Not bad. Not bad. And the match gets a 76B minus. In a superb match, Drew Galloway defeated Aaron Stevens in 11-15 by pinfall with a Scott drop. Aaron uh, Stevens actually doing yeah. better than Drew Galloway in that match. Shocks me. Yeah, it, it's about right. Yeah. Stevens is great. He is good. And let's get into the next segment, which is a 45D... Uh, 45D, yeah, that's it. <laughs> um, Pre-match attack, freestyle segment, where Eric Young just attacks Colt Cabana before their match. Eric Young is getting better at his gimmick. That's all and the match gets a C65 in a decent match. Colt Cabana defeated Eric Young in 8.28 by a pinfall with a fast roll-up. So, Colt Cabana practically stealing the win there. I don't think serious Eric will you know, enjoy that. And in a C plus 66, Zack Sabre Jr. Cut, uh, cuts a promo on AJ Styles. Not AJ Styles. Chris Sabin. Um, on Alex. We, we haven't got AJ Styles. No. no. First of all, on Alex Shelley being a no-show and being a pitiful challenger, Chris Sabin comes out saying that Zack Sabre Jr. is the worst super lightweight champion in any company. He's also the only super lightweight champion in any company. Um, and Chris Sabin says he'll beat him in under five minutes. Zack Sabre Jr. takes on the challenge. And we get ourselves a ATB match. <laughs> in a, <laughs> yep. In about that had great wrestling and good heat. Zack Sabre Jr., Defeated Chris Sabin in 14 of 7 by pinfall with a Tiger Suplex. Zack Sabre Jr. makes defense number 3 of his GBW Super Lightweight title. Wow. Zack Sabre Jr. was really off his game. This match got the crowd buzzing. Zack Sabre Jr. had an in-ring performance of 62. While Chris Sabin had an in-ring performance of 70. Wow. What a match. And Zack Sabre Jr. was really off his game. Yep. What? <laughs> That's that's our uh, equals our best match yet, which was also booked by me, you know. Booking genius. Next segment. Uh, we have a C61 segment. Johnny Nitro had an interview hyping up his upcoming battle with Cody Rhodes and Magnus. 
and we have a Calm the Crowd match, and um, that gets a D plus 51, an extremely short match. Chris Hero defeated Extreme Tiger in fight uh, in 303 by pinfall with a hangman's elbow. Why you go burying Tiger? He was he was a face lower mid carder. Time I'm um, done, he'll be a face upper mid carder. <laughs> Uh, probably, yeah, probably. And then, and then by the end of my one, he's gonna go back down to an opener. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, this as planned, this match brought the um, crowd fans back down a little. The Chris Hero had, had an in-ring performance of fifty-five. Extreme Tiger had an in-ring performance of thirty-four. And sure. we have a video hyping up uh, our main event: C sixty-one, Cody Rhodes. Johnny Nitro, Magnus, this is it. The main event of my first pay-per-view gets a 73 beam minus. Not bad. Decent. And about I've had fantastic heat and great wrestling. This got better, like, words of phrases than uh, Zack Sabre Jr. and Chris Saban match, but okay. Cody mm-hmm. Rhodes defeated Johnny Nitro and, uh, and Magnus in 2030. When Cody Rhodes defeated Johnny Nitro by a pinfall of a crossroads, Cody Rhodes makes defense number four of his GPW heavyweight title. Lack yeah. of psychology. Cody Rhodes was really off his game. off his game, yet still got uh, 71. This match and got the crowd hotter. Mm. Had an in-ring performance. Cody Rhodes had an in-ring performance of 71. Johnny Nitro 76. Magnus 63. The GPW heavyweight storyline has advanced with the segment. segment. And the final segment gets a B plus 85. <laughs> Having picked up the victory, Cody Rhodes celebrates in the ring, and we end the show with a 75 B minus. Not a bad show. The show Pretty increased show. our popularity in 11 regions. Yeah, it was a really good show. I good think Zack Saber, Chris Sabin, and Cody Rhodes deser- deserved the speeches. But yeah, Nitro, but Nitro did better than Rhodes, and yeah, Rhodes was off his game. That Rhodes. Like celebration angle, you know. Yeah, true. <laughs> okay, so, Zach. Hmm. And Cody's our champion. We want to keep him happy. True. Yeah. I'll just compliment them on good performance. Seem please. Seem please. Seem please. Anyway, guys, hope you have enjoyed this episode of GPW Succession. Please come back for more and subscribe to all the people involved. If you want to be involved yourself, just hit us up, up on Skype or in the YouTube comments. Please like, subscribe, and bye. See ya. Bye.